So I uh, started off my morning by going to this mall um, because I had to upload some things and on YouTube and Andrew's Wi-Fi is pretty bad. So I came here for reference. Andrew's Wi-Fi would have taken 10, a 10 minute video to upload. It would have taken like an hour. And then here it uploaded in like a minute. So Hong Kong Wi-Fi is pretty, pretty fast. Public Wi-Fi is pretty good, especially if you come to a super nice mall like this one. But uh, yeah, that's how I started off my day. And now to get some food and some dim sum and to meet up with Andrew, so yeah. classic wiener bun that I got from a bakery. It's literally just a tiny hot dog sandwich inside a bun. So we're gonna try it and see how it tastes. It looks good, um, but we know how it turned out yesterday, how it looked good and didn't taste so good. A lot better. This one just classic. It's a classic Hong Kong dish. You really can't go wrong with it. Definitely recommend. So I decided to get a, another bun. This is a, looks like a pineapple bun, some sort of sweet bun. But I decided to get another one because it just looks so good. I couldn't pass it up. It's very soft and fluffy. Um, it was really cheap, only seven Hong Kong dollars. So I'm gonna try it now. Mmm, like a pineapple bun. A very light, sugary, sweet on top. It's very fluffy and airy. So, it, I like the texture a lot. Tastes pretty good. Topping. I just wish it was warm, but otherwise this is honestly perfect for like a quick bite and a quick snack. Definitely, definitely, definitely try. Some tashi tambao, which is like barbecue pork buns, miniature size. Some fried shrimp wontons. Fried shrimp wontons. You got ham soy ball. It's like a sweet shell and then meat filling. That um, sounds good. And then you have steamed rice with chicken wrapped right. in a banana leaf. Let's dig in. All right, Andrew's unraveling the no mi gao. Actually, wait, I should just do it. Oh, yeah. I'm like being an amateur at this. Which is like sticky rice and chicken. Good. Here's some chicken. Wow, this chicken actually looks really good. It looks like it's like cooked, it's been cooked perfectly. Oh yeah. It's tender and oh, oh, chicken. Oh, yeah. slightly sweet and slightly juicy. All right, we're gonna eat the pork buns now. Oh, that's pretty good too. It's really sweet though, but the bread is like overpowering the sweetness of the of the pork, which I kind of don't like. But the pork itself looks beautiful. Very fatty, very juicy. Has that nice savory barbecue Chinese barbecue flavor. Yeah. All right. Now the time for the uh, I think we dip fried, it in that sauce. Fried shrimp wonton. Oh, shit. I can dip it in the sauce. It this. <laughs> this is giant. This is massive. It's just all like fried breading. Oh wow. Oh. <laughs> that was super loud. My turn. You got a bigger shrimp than me though. This one is fine. Sauce is a classic like sweet and sour sauce. Pretty good. Oh. Yeah, no shrimp. All right. Last thing to try. What is this again, Andrew? It's like sweet and savory. It's like a inside lining of like I don't know, like gelatin. It's like sweet. All right, ready? Go for it. Mm. Oh yeah, as you can see inside, it's like gelatin-like with filling. 
So this is what we came here for. What this is, this is like basically like fried Chinese donut inside rice paper wrapping with soy sauce. And it's very basic, but it's very yummy. Sure. Nice taste of just soy sauce. Very basic, very simple. But it's great breakfast item and really cheap. The stars of the show have arrived. This is what I'm super excited for. Ready? It's just shrimp and yeah, rice. Yeah, don't take it. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try it by now. I'm super excited. Mm. This is hot, man. Shrimp is very juicy. Very juicy. And it's like it's cooked and steamed perfectly. And it's like slightly sweet with that rice paper filling. Or coating, sorry. It's really good. What do you think, Andrew? Let's go in. Just a lot of veggies and tofu and. Yeah. Good. Good. It's a very light flavor with some veggies, veggie flavor. All right, they're really hot, but I'm still gonna try one just to see. Just like a yellow custard inside. Oh, it's really sweet. <laughs> it's really sweet inside. But it's good if you like desserts and sweet things, which I guess I kind of like, but can't always eat a lot of it. So we'll see how I feel after this. It's like a creamy egg sweet custard inside. Nice texture actually, but uh, a little too sweet for me. Last thing on the menu are these sesame balls. And uh, these are also pretty sweet, but these are classic. Every Asian, every Chinese person has eaten these. Um, much like a slightly sweet. I like these a lot better because they're not very sweet. It's just more sesame and it's fried. So you really can't go with, wrong with sesame, fried sesame. Inside it's like black sesame paste. Has to write some really important emails. So I'm just going to feed them. It's hot. It's not hot? Okay, good. This is the egg custard. But. He's writing emails, important emails. Coming in hot. British, uh, Eng Hong Kong people love this because of the British. That was a lot hotter than I expected. Oh my god, it was like freshly made. But it's like it tastes really good. It's like pretty salty. That's why it's really good. But the egg is like really yolky, which I really like. And the toast you can see is obviously nice and buttery. Yeah, Hong Kong people do afternoon tea really well. So I think as a traveler, afternoon tea that people do in Hong Kong is amazing because you can get basically a hot meal for super cheap at like 3 or 4 p.m. Um, that meal that I just had was about, it was like 37 Hong Kong dollars, which is about 5 US dollars, which is a super good price. Um, so yeah, I, I think I think afternoon tea, I'm really glad that I'm a traveler and I'm really glad that they have it and I took advantage of it and it was delicious and it was a lot of energy and it was hot food, so it's really good.